I don't want to like crown her. <laughs> the, the, we don't the, want a fangirl. Is that what you call it? Yeah, but I am basically every thing she does, I agree with. Shelby Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. Today we are sharing Pinterest worthy bedroom inspiration from home tours that we've taken. So we are the home tour girls. We go all around the DFW and we find home tours that are all different styles. So from cottage, farmhouse, transitional, modern, and we round up amazing inspiration. And that's my favorite place to get inspiration is when we go to home tours, I find the best ideas yeah. And people have such amazing bedrooms. I mean, some of them are simple and some are sophisticated and some are just really bold and some are real subtle. So it's really, I think, a place where you can be yourself. Yep. Yeah. And I wanted to start, so I want to do a roundup once a month like this, but I wanted to start with bedrooms because it's typically the last thing, especially the primary bedroom that gets done. The kitchen, the living room, all of those spaces get the first attention, which makes sense because they're used yeah. by the whole family. But here, I really do think your primary bedroom deserves attention. I have said, and I mean this, the next time if we ever move again, hopefully we won't, but the next time I renovate a house, I will do the primary bedroom first. It's gonna be the focus, but I am glad that this one is finished and we waited because it was worth the wait. So why don't we start with your bedroom? Your bedroom, the one thing that I wanted to bring up, so we're talking about unique design features. One okay. thing that mom did that was really unique was when she redid her bedroom, it's much more in style to do light floors than dark floors right now, probably not forever, but mom really wanted to do lighter floors in here, but she has darker floors. So she created herringbone design with a inlay border and the border is the antique brown from the rest of my house and then we just took the antique brown and we lightened basically it. lightened it about eight times or something so that that would be all cohesive and I couldn't be more happy yeah. with the way that turned out. Turned out great so yeah. she got the dreamy floors that she wanted but still creating a really amazing flow from the main spaces in her home. So if you're looking for a way to get away with light floors without having to redo your entire house, this is a great option. Yeah. I will say herringbone is pricey though. So you might not yeah. save a ton of money, yeah. but it looks amazing. Hey, I'm excited to share today's sponsor of this video and it is Rest and their Silver Cool Sheets. So here they just asked me to simply share an honest review of my experience using these sheets. I was actually a little reluctant because I thought I'm not the hottest sleeper in the world, but we live in Texas, so it does get pretty stinking hot during the summer. So I thought I will try them out and share them with all of you. After three months, I can honestly say I love them. They are amazing. They have the feeling of like almost silk or your favorite yoga pants. It's just the perfect fabric to keep you cool, but not too cool. I still stay cozy at night. One thing that's really amazing is I've noticed that that temperature, sleeping at that temperature, I was falling asleep faster. I wasn't waking in the night. Sometimes I have kiddos crawl in bed with me. You know how it is if you're a parent. So being able to not get hot and sweaty when people are joining you. Also pets, the fabric is pet hair resistant. It repels it. And sometimes we have furry friends that also like to join us. So I would say not only is it great if you are a hot sleeper, but it's great if you are a parent or a pet parent sleeper. <laughs> the other thing that I love about it is they are antibacterial. So if you sweat or just, I mean, we're humans, there are bacteria so it's just good to have fabric that is antibacterial in bed 
They are also non-toxic, which is super duper important to me. I did not want anything toxic. I mean, we spend like half of our lives in bed, right? You don't want toxins all around. Another thing that is super cool is they have these elastics at the end of each corner so they don't come off. We have tried many sheets and even shared many sheets with you guys in the past and every everything I've tried from at a big box store or the premium sheets always come off. I don't know if it's because we move a lot or whatever, but these elastic grips, these sheets have stayed on so well. Another cool feature is the pillows actually have little buttons, so your pillows actually also stay on. So everything is secure and in place, which is perfect if you're a moving sleeper, which if you move a lot, you're probably hot. So you also need the cooling feature. <laughs> the other thing that I love about these sheets is that they're pretty. They have three different colors. They have like a cream, a gray, and like a charcoal-ish color. So this was perfect for what I was going for. They also sent me the duvet. I got the All Seasons Duvet insert. I love this duvet. It's thick but not too thick and it is also with the duvet over you with your cooling sheets it's like you're in a cocoon that you're not getting sweaty in <laughs> so I, I, I mean they asked me to share my honest review so I'm sending all honesty to you guys that is how I feel with everything that they have sent over so if you would like to try rest silver cool sheets and their duvet insert they have given me a coupon code to give you guys 25% off it's Shelby 25 I hope that you guys give them a go if you are in the market for a new set of sheets the next room that I I always get inspiration from her so if we reference her a lot can you guess who Stephanie I don't want to like crown her <laughs> the, the, we don't the, want a fangirl is that what you call it yeah but i am basically every thing she does i agree with i will say that this bedroom i was surprised by the lighting choice mom doesn't love that light i do i like the light but it just was a little surprising i guess was it just a little surprise for me yeah it's not as traditional maybe as all the other things right. that she does right. What I wanted to mention about her bedroom is that her headboard was actually vintage fabric from an estate sale that she went to and she just wrapped it on a headboard. She didn't buy that. So I love the floral. You don't see that a ton. You don't see a lot of pattern in a headboard. And then that's against wallpaper. So it's pattern on pattern, but it's pretty neutral. I mean, the, the floral pattern has a lot of color, but it's the bold pattern against the neutral pattern that just it sings. I love it. And then what's really fun is she did a gallery wall, including her TV, right? Yep. And over a, just a, a beautiful a farm table. table. Yeah. And it's just, she hung it from... It's like a, it a looks rail. like a, yeah, like it's a gallery rod. Actually, she hung it from the rods that her curtains are on. Curtains are on. Yeah, and so I love that she wasn't afraid to mix up the furniture. So just having a farmhouse table as the table that goes, like basically her, where your dresser would typically go. So there's no rules for what furniture can go in your room or, you know, how you display your art. You can put it on your curtain rod. There's really no rules. <laughs> And Stephanie proves that. The next room, number three, is our friend Erica, Clover Lane Properties. The, her, so this was actually a flip house, a very nice flip house, mm -hmm. but she painted the trim green in this bedroom. And I love that because throughout the house, every room had a different, I mean, not every room had a different trim color, but no trim was white. So in the main areas, it was blue. Mm -hmm. And then when you moved into that area, it was green. And then upstairs, I think it was, it was blue or was it green? The, it was all colorful. And I just thought that was so cool. We're seeing a lot of trim, like pops with trim. Mm -hmm. It's not always boring white. I mean, I have boring white. There's nothing really wrong with that, but you're seeing a lot of interest. Yeah, and color drenching is very popular. I actually did that in my room where you actually paint the trim and the walls and the ceiling all the same colors. Yeah. So that's fun too. But yeah, mixing and matching um, different trim with 
paint, darker trim with lighter paint, things yeah. like that, very in style. So this isn't like something I can envision someone applying to their rooms, but I just want to open the idea of any room could become a bedroom. So our friend Tracy of TMKF Homes, she actually, her bedroom used to be a porch. I think they can, Part of her bed. Yeah. yeah. So the, I think they converted it before she moved there, but they didn't take the post out. I mean, it literally, what used to be the back porch is it's the bedroom. bedroom. So if yeah. you're in an old house, don't ever be afraid to just make it work. I love her room and it made it very large, yeah. the porch along with the other space. It was a, for especially an older home, it yeah. was so spacious, so bright and airy. I love it. And I think that what's cool about that, those dividers, so even if you were to add like a post or something like that, it made that little office space dedicated, which yes. I do think that's something cool that can happen in primary bedrooms. It's like having a little seating area, having a little mm -hmm. desk nook, having just dedicated mm -hmm. spaces that you can use. The next thing that I have is Angie of My McKinney Farmhouse on her wall, her art, where they did the stencil and they wrote a quote. Yeah, it was just so muted that if you didn't like know it was there, you might miss it. But once you saw it, it was absolutely a showstopper. Yeah. And we were just standing in awe of this, I mean, full wall of words yeah. and but just very muted very beautifully done yeah. and uh she actually stenciled that she got the stencil off etsy off of etsy and so um that's just one of the coolest features but also she likes very simple sophisticated styles so the simplicity of her room you're not going to find a lot of clutter and just a basket is the star of the show yeah. on top of a, a beautiful piece of furniture. Yeah. So, and she has a lot of vintage finds. So really everything is very character infused from her doors to her floors to just that mural. And so there's not much, but what there is to see is stunning. Stunning. I mean, you need to take all these tours, but Angie's so good. Okay, so the next room that we have is our friend Jenny Rickerson. What I love about her home is it's modern, but all vintage. <laughs> so, yes. I don't, does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, she does have a mid-century modern vibe a little bit throughout the house, but her stuff is so thoughtful and treasure hunted and perfect. Yeah. So she is actually doing some updates and I can't wait to get back over and see what yeah. she's done. But her master bedroom is so fun. Yeah. I just want people, when I went into it, I was really excited to see so much like founded estate sales, but look so sophisticated. So you can still get that elevated look, but and not she, have to spend a ton. She puts together things very well. I don't yeah. know that I have the eye that Jenny has. I don't know that I could do ship art, but she does She's it like amazing. It. Yeah. So if you're looking for inspiration on having a modern look with a very collected vintage, vintage pieces, mm -hmm. Jenny's your girl. So the next one is a recent tour, Rachel of the Rosie Home. Her back wall, I just, all I want to do is tell you about that paint color. Sherwin-Williams Evergreen Fog, I believe mm -hmm. she said. It looks a little blue in some lights, a little green in some lights, a little glorious in every angle. Mm -hmm. I just love, I mean, a lot of people are going away from accent walls. They're saying your whole room has to be the same. This accent wall proves that's not the case. You can still do an accent wall. And again, her style is a mix of collected and new things. Yeah. And so she puts things together very well. She's a florist and she has an eye for design. Yeah. And so, I mean, she has sconces that are perfect and uh, an art gallery wall, again, like Stephanie. And so I love it. I love everything about it. Mm -hmm. Mom called her a styling sensation. Styling sensation. <laughs> yeah. And I also love always, y'all, um, in all of these rooms, you're going to find there's life, right? I mean, they're 
plants and greenery in every one of these spaces that we're talking about, that's one thing you'll see. The next bedroom is our friend Jessica of The Old Barn and her bedroom, she mixes millwork. So she has shiplap and board and batten. And I just think that's really cool because it's completely neutral, but that adds a lot of texture and pop. So if you're feeling like your bedroom doesn't feel special, millwork is the ticket. And you can see mommy's mom has, I didn't mean to call you mommy. mommy. <laughs> I bet mommy is. <laughs> Mommy's got some millwork. <laughs> No, she does it so well. And and I would have been afraid oh, to, to mix those two, shiplap and board, board and batten. batten. It would have been something I'd say, no, that doesn't work. But it does work. Yeah. It works very well together. And then she has this incredible found fireplace mantle. So she has a faux fireplace yeah. in there. And um, her bedding is, you know, Cozy. just cozy and so you just really want to snuggle up in there we've never snuggled up in someone's bed <laughs> at their home door no <laughs> well it's never. tempting to dive in but we have not the last one that i want to share is our friend jenny of the little bird her black accent wall so we talked about the rosy home accent wall this one is definitely bold she fully committed i think it's tricorn black I will double check and pop it up on the screen. What's so cool good. about that room is that she has these windows above her bed and it's a new build. Yeah. And you would think that someone wouldn't do that, but it was intentional and it was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And you have that as well. You, you didn't build your home, so you were yeah. kind of stuck with that. You had to figure it out, but it looks great in your yeah. room as well but I stop scrolling when I see her bedroom every single time. Yeah. I think sometimes it's, a, it's scary to go bold, like a really dark, moody color, but I'm looking for a spot to do that because I feel like it just, it's just bold. bold. It, it makes you want to like, like stop, stop and stare and appreciate it. And so anyways, Jenny did it. She did, mm -hmm. it. She did it good. Both our Jennies are kind of modern. We actually just filmed another tour today. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get a little head. We're trying to make sure that we have a video every single week for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers. Yes. And so I think... We're slap happy. Uh, we're slap happy. We had such a good time at the tour. I'm actually going to pop up some footage right here so you can get a preview because I think we're going to share it next week. We, okay. I'm going to push for it. But... We love sharing home tours. It's our very favorite thing to do, and so we're just trying to yeah. get them out to you as soon yeah. as, as, qu as often, <laughs> not as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, as, as often as possible, guys. You know what home I also love? Kathy. Oh, what, what about Kathy's bed? I mean, I love it. I love the wool rug and the textiles and the warmth and the coziness, and she lives in an older home too, but she has a fairly large bedroom. bedroom. I love the mirrors over her nightstands. I feel like if you're struggling to open up your space or you're just looking for something, mirrors over nightstands are so sophisticated. Very sophisticated. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we've done a lot of home tours, clearly. We had a lot of examples and there's even still some that we haven't, we didn't include in this little roundup. So if you love home tours, make sure that you subscribe. I'm actually gonna put the full home tour playlist here. I normally end with one video. We're going to end with all the home tours. And if you like photos, we also have them on our blog. So, so you can binge watch. Binge watch, binge look, all the inspiration that you want. And I try to also make sure on the blog post to include links to either the homeowners, LTK, or just find the sources for you guys. Yeah. And so, all right. So like, subscribe, share with your friends, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.